I'm on camera. Good morning to all of you. Welcome to this Sunday, uh, fifth Sunday of uh, Easter. We are celebrating today Mother's Day. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Um, we pray for them. We also pray for all of us who may have lost our mothers in this day, and we are remember them. All of us that may be this the first Sunday or the first time that we go without our mothers, we pray for their eternal rest, but we also pray for comfort in our hearts. We pray for also all those mothers out there who may have lost a child, all those more who probably are struggling with that, being mothers but haven't lost someone, we pray for you. We, we have you in our hearts and in our prayers today. We pray also for all the women who may want We pray for you because you are also mothers in your heart and you may be mothers to others. We pray also for all the women who decide to be spiritual mothers to others. We celebrate that today too. So with that in mind, let us praise God for all the women who participate in the creative and life-giving work of God. And we recognize them today, we pray for them, and we bless them today. As you may have seen, we have a beautiful uh, flowers and decoration, and, and we have, as you, you also saw in the video, was plus 200 mothers there. and. We have these wonderful roses. We thank for this beautiful job, Kathy Burrows and Anne Words. They were working hard yesterday here, so thank you for doing that. Thank you for decorating and putting our church beautiful. Thank you for the idea of doing the roses uh, for our mothers. We also are going to pray for Special way we are praying today for Thomas Thomas, which is uh, Anthony's dad, who it's, uh, passed away several years ago on this day, seven years ago, yes. And then we pray for also for Larry Norton, Joseph and Sheila Collentine, Ruth Billman, Roberta Lerner, Leo and Lorraine Mitchell, Mary Clem, and Jean DeMarc. We pray for all of them. We offer uh, our prayers for them. And all your special, special intentions, we are offering them today in this Eucharist. I know the weather is not the best for us to celebrate today, but the light of Christ, the sunshine of Christ is in our hearts and in our lives, in our smiles. So I want you today, when you finish the Mass, go and look at the mirror and smile to yourself because that's God smiling to you. So let us get ready and start our celebration. Sweet 
sign of ourselves with the sign of our baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to freedom from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the truth that reveals the tender mercy of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way leading, to, leading us to the heavenly banquet. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the 12 called together 
the community of the disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And, like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, it is value, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Truth. 
than the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for, for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Who has, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works I, that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. I'm not hearing you. Are you all saying good morning? I can say we had to shake the building. First of all, I want to wish you all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. You are a blessing in our lives. We are praying for you. We thank for your dedication, your sacrifices, everything you have done for us, the sons and daughters. Today we are having this wonderful gospel reading. Basically, this reading gospel we always use for the funeral mass. But this is the longest discourse, the speech Jesus has in the gospel. The Last Supper, Jesus gives a long speech. It's a part of that gospel. For me, it is very interesting is that Jesus is giving us hope in this gospel. He's giving us hope in the sense the disciples are already frustrated, upset, because he is talking about his death and his suffering, and they are losing hope. They don't know what is happening. They don't know. This was not they were expecting. They were expecting something different. So Jesus is telling them, I am going to my father. I am going back to, I, I am going to complete the mission that God, my father, has sent me to do then I will go back to my father. So all of a sudden, all their concept, all their expectations have uh, come to an end. Because they were hoping that Jesus is going to build a kingdom in Jerusalem. All these things, and Jesus is telling them, I am going to suffer, die, and go back to my father. So then Jesus is telling them, you know the way. 
I am going to prepare a place for you. Where I, where I am, you, will be, you also will be, you know. It's a promise that Jesus is giving us. He wants us to be with him. So interestingly, Thomas is, going, uh, is asking him, we do not know the way, so how do we, we do not know where you are going, then how do we know the way? That's where Jesus is saying the most important sentence for me in my life. I am the way, the truth, and life. Because Jesus is the way. If anybody who believes in Jesus will do greater things, right? That is a big thing. Even Jesus saying, you will do greater than the things that he has done in this world if I believe in Jesus. That's something very important for me. Because, as I said in the beginning, this reading is for the funerals. As all of you, as you heard in the beginning of the Mass, my father passed away seven years ago. A greatest friend of mine, or I call the second father here, is Larry Norton, died the same time, like two days from now. So they are father figures, you know? So we are, I was thinking about them, I was a bit emotional about that. But the greatest thing for me, is this sentence gives me hope. Because if they believe that they are with God, if we believe that we are going to be with God, and God has prepared a place for all of us. So that means, promise that Jesus gave us, is that he's preparing a place for all of us. But we have to believe. We have to believe that Jesus is the way, that Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life. What are the ways that Jesus showed us? The ways of love. If you look at the gospel, Jesus always loved everyone, and he performed miracles. He died for the same love. So the thing is, his way is the way of life, love. The second thing we will see, his way is the way of suffering. He suffered. Not, for, not because of his mistake, he suffered because for the sins of ours. So his second way is the way of suffering. Then you see the death and the resurrection. So when you believe in that, Jesus loved us, Jesus died for us, and Jesus came out of death, resurrected, and went to the Father, is for us. So if you, we have that faith, then we will be with him. So most of the times, we are doubtful. We are doubtful like Thomas. Thomas was the doubting Thomas, right? We are doubting for everything. We will be asking so many questions. Why this? What happens? Where is God? I don't see the power of God. If God is super power, has, has control over everything, why all this, this, this thing is happening? But think about this, when Jesus said, if you believe you can do greater things, then the question is, can we make differences in this world? Can we perform miracles in this world? Can we change the life of others? Can we overcome all these struggles? The only thing we need is the faith. Believe in Him. Believe He is the way. So think about our own life. How much do we believe in Jesus? After showing, after believing, after receiving Him throughout our lives, after our baptism, first communion, confirmation, we profess the faith in Him. But do we really believe? If we believe, we can change everything. So instead of blaming the presence of God, instead of blaming where is God, let us look into our own life. We represent Christ's presence in this world. So are we able to change all this? Are we able to sacrifice our own life for others? Are we able to love others beyond our own lives? Are we able to give everything that we have for the sake of my brothers and sisters? Then we will do greater things than he did. 
So one of the examples that comes to my mind when we read the sacrifice, the love, the sacrifice they make, is our mothers. Right? All our mothers make a lot of sacrifice. Do we appreciate? How often do we say thank you? I always say to myself, I don't need a Mother's Day to thank my mother. Doesn't, there is no wrong to have a Mother's Day. I call my mother every single day. Why? Because she is the first God's face that I have seen in this world. In Indian culture, there is a saying, Mada Pida Guru Deva. You don't understand. It comes from the Sanskrit word. Mada means mother. Pida means father. Guru means teachers, masters, teachers. And God, Guru means God. Deva means God. So what it says, if you want to be in the next life, the first person who forms you, the first person who shows the way is your mother, and then the father, then the teacher, then last is the God. So if we don't respect, and love, and take care of our own mothers, how can we say even we love the God? How can we even say, I know the way? Because mothers are the first way that we have. They are the greatest gift God has given to us. So today, when we celebrate this Mother's Day, I will ask all of you, those who are listening to me, let us call our mother and say thank you. And they don't ask for thanks, but it will be nice for us to say thank you. If the mothers are closer to you in your home now, give him a hug and a kiss. Because their blessings are the greatest blessings that we can receive while on this earth. We always say that we always run for the blessings of a priest or a bishop or a pope, right? We always run. And we always say, why oh, God, I, I had the chance to shake hands with Pope Francis. I got his blessing. But can you imagine the greatest blessing that you receive is from your mother? So ask a blessing from her. Give thanks to her. Give a hug and say thank you. Because without them, we won't be here. Without their sacrifices, we won't be who we are at this present. So during this celebration, these days, let us thank them. Let us ask God to bless them. So many of us, many of us, our mothers have gone from this world to the next. Remember them. Pray for them. Offer this mass for them. They are blessing us from the heavens. They are praying for us. They will be with us all the life, all the time of our life. Their blessings will remain with us. So they are the first one to show that path, the way. Everything we believe is given by our mothers. So one thing you have to remember, the mothers, those who are listening, thank you. Thank you for your sacrifices. Thank you for everything you have done. We pray that you continue to show that example of that unconditional love. We thank you for everything you have done to our life. We pray that all of you be strong and healthy and have many, many more years with us. And those who have gone from us, we pray for their eternal rest. Today, as we celebrate this Mother's Day, and also we pray for all the world that they are growing through this most difficult time. Remember, as Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and life. Amen. Now let us profess our faith, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. 
he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Trusting in the Lord, who promised that he would prepare a place in his Father's home for all his disciples, we bring our prayers before God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and its leaders be sustaining in hope and prayer through these difficult times, both here and around the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations to be responsible, especially as we work together during this time in history with COVID-19, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the work of various first responders and medical personnel who risk their lives to help those in need of critical services and in prayer and concern for the comfort of mind and body for all those who are ill, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who guide us as mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, expectant mothers, and all who nurture us in maternal ways, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us as we look toward returning to the church, building worship places soon by a gradual and responsible manner, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all mothers who have passed, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for the prayers in our Book of Intentions here in the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the living and deceased members of our parishes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you give us the word by sending your Son to save a sinful people, and he shows us the way back to you. Help us always to keep his way firmly in our sights as we make these prayers to you in his name. Answer them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life, the life for all has risen. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together than any hymn of your glory, as without end they acclaim.
you are indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Thomas Thomas, Larry Norton, Joseph and Sheila Collentine, Ruth Billman, Roberta Leonard, Leo and Lorraine Mitchell, Mary Clem, Jim DeMarc, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Richard, St. Patrick, and St. Edward, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray together in the words our Savior taught us. Thank you. 
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy you that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now, from the holy place that we are all gathered in our homes, from the sacredness of our hearts, we prepare to receive Christ. He wants to be part of us. He wants to be in us, united in love for one another. Now let us receive him and a spiritual communion.
for all those mothers that just came in after our uh, introduction to the Mass and tune in later on. Uh, and for all of you mothers, happy Mother's Day. Take it. <laughs> so again, we continue to pray for all the mothers that uh, has given us life, for all the mothers that have lost children, for all of us who have lost our mothers, and for all those who decide to be spiritual mothers, and all those women who cannot be mothers but are mothers at heart. We pray for all of you. We love you. We ask the Lord blessings upon you because all you women share the creative and living and giving life power of God. So have a, have a nice Mother's Day. Uh, yesterday when we were discussing our Bible study, some of you were um, wondering and wanted to discuss uh, the directives uh, that we're going to have for our Catholic comeback. So next Saturday, we're going to have a Q&A live stream instead of having the Bible class. We're going to have a Q&A on our uh, directives that we have uh, f for the coming back. So if you have any questions, you could email us or you could uh, tune in on Saturday at 9 o'clock and we will do the Q&A if you have any questions or anything that you want to discuss. Um, we are working, Anthony and I, with the staff. We are working to have a, a, a clear and simple uh, directives that pertains to what you have to do when you come back to Mass. You know, if you look at the diocese and all the different directives that are out there and guidelines, so they have a lot of to do with cleaning and all that, which is our work. And we just want to give you what you need to know about how you are going to come back, okay? So uh, we are working on that and we will give you like a final, final uh, document on Wednesday so that you could discuss it. We will post it in a way that you could download it from, from our Facebook pages and print it uh, so that you have it by you. And hopefully you have some time to read it and then if you have any questions Saturday, we will be discussing them. Um, we have the video for the mothers. We are going to replay it again at the end of mass. So if you just tune in when we were starting the mass and you didn't and you missed the opportunity to watch it at, at, at the prelude at the beginning, so you have now the opportunity to do so. And of course, it will be posted on YouTube so that you could uh, share it and again like our YouTube page, Catholic <laughs> Catholic Community in Central Brazil. So, with all of that, we now let Father Anthony to give a wonderful blessing to Lord the mothers. Have a nice day. I know the day is not so good in weather, but I know that radiant smile of the mothers will make it beautiful for us. So just before I do the Mother's Day blessing, I just want to say a word of thanks to Anna. He's, she's here, came to read. Thank you for coming and reading. And Chris always, as our mass liturgy becomes so beautiful because he sings and plays music. Thank you, Chris, for that. Obviously, Dulce and uh, Eloy, no words can express my gratitude towards them. So thank you for doing everything that you guys have been doing it. And uh, he's going to be a full uh, youth minister for the three parishes from July 1st. So I'll be mistreating you. I'm sorry. I'll be using. <laughs> I'm just joking, you know. So thank you for that, uh, Eloy and Dulce, for your commitment. And also, I said in the beginning that, uh, you know, mothers, you have been a blessing in our lives. You have been given, you have given us so much, and your life, your time, your entire, I don't want to say specify, your life is given to us. So in us, we are the sons and daughters. We are going to give you a blessing. If those you are watching, please raise your right hand towards your mothers and uh, let us give them a blessing. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers 
Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless mothers, father, son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So wish you a Mother's Day. Enjoy. When the restaurants are open, you take your mothers for a big steak, okay? <laughs> right? Don't forget. Take her to a nice dinner. Give her thanks for everything they have done to us. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.